Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you how to recalibrate your joysticks on your Steam Deck. Just in case guys, you're facing some problem with your joysticks, it's drifting or it is not calibrated properly and you want to recalibrate your joysticks or just in case you would have upgraded your joystick as I have shown in my previous video, how to upgrade your joystick to an hall sensor joystick and you want to recalibrate the values of your joystick on your Steam Deck, this is the video for you. So ensure that guys, you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications from my new videos. Let's get started. So to recalibrate your joysticks, there are two parts. One is to calibrate the value of your joysticks and then to calibrate your dead zone of these joystick for the center point. We'll start with the calibration of value of your joystick. To do that, you need to go on Steam. Go on to power, switch to desktop. Once you're switched to desktop guys, click on the start menu, go on to the system. From the system, you have to go on to console. Once your console is open, click on Steam plus X to open your keyboard. Just like this, it will give you a keyboard to type in. As you know, there is no proper keyboard to type the commands. So you need an on-screen keyboard just to type in the command. So now here, you need to type the command called thumbstick underscore cal. And press enter. It will shut down your Steam library and it will take you back to your console. As you can see, you are back to the console. Onto the console, it says that release all the thumbstick and press A key or enter. That will recalibrate your center position. So you don't need to touch your thumbstick, just press A. So just press A without touching your thumbstick. It says that all the thumbsticks are released, your center position is calibrated. Now you need to rotate both the thumbsticks in 360 degrees so as to recalibrate your maximum value in all the direction so that's what we are going to do just carefully and slowly rotate your joystick so that it has full deflection in all 360 degrees so that the maximum value of your thumbsticks are captured properly once you have done that few times you need to press a as you can see onto the screen, the maximum values are being captured and your center position is being captured as well for the left and the right thumbstick. As you can see, the values are populated onto the console. Now you need to exit the console, press A. Once you are out of the console, close the console and return to the gaming mode. Once you are back on the gaming mode, you need to click on Steam, then go to settings. This time guys, what we are doing is to recalibrate the dead zone of your joysticks. To do that, we need to go on to the controller. Hit on right and then scroll all the way down. Where it says calibration and advanced settings. So this is the place where you recalibrate your dead zone this will not recalibrate your maximum and minimum value of your joystick so you make sure that you have done the previous step before you come here click on open now here you see you have the left joystick and the right joystick option hit on right it will highlight your left joystick to start with the calibration you need to hit down once you hit down you have few options at the bottom start testing adjust slider and back Start testing is to test the maximum value. So we'll do that. Let's start with Y. As you can see, my joystick is on the border line. As you can see, it's always on the border or away from border. So that means my calibration is okay. So the circle which this graphics is forming is around the maximum value of your joystick. So that is what it means. And whenever you leave, it comes into that dead zone. So that is the area of the dead zone. Just in case your joystick is outside this dead zone, you need to increase or decrease the dead zone. So to adjust the slider, you need to click A. And then, so the right side will increase the dead zone. 
and the left side will decrease the dead zone so as you can see the smaller the red zone higher will be your sensitivity so smaller change on your joystick will take the joystick controller out of the dead zone so dead zone is a place where the small vibrations or movements will not account for the motion of your character in during the gaming so the smaller the dead zone more sensitive your joystick will be i will leave it to default for now because that is the place where it works best for me and i have good enough dead zone for my left joystick so that is how you calibrate the joystick when you are done hit on b and then you can hit on r1 to select the right joystick once you have selected the right joystick hit bottom and then press y again to start with the calibration process so here as well we need to move your right joystick as you can see it is moving on to the circle so my maximum values are calibrated properly and then you can adjust the slider as well click a to adjust the dead zone right side is bigger left side is smaller like i have told you before smaller is the dead zone higher will be the sensitivity but you need to ensure that your joystick whenever you leave it always lands up inside the dead zone it doesn't matter if it is not properly centered so that is the small mechanical friction that you have it might not let you go into the center always but then ensure that whenever you leave it it always come back to this dead zone so that is how you know that you have calibrated your joystick properly so once you are done press y and b to close the calibration process so this is it guys this completes the two-step calibration of your joystick onto your steam deck i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching clear skies